Yet in 950 AD, they vanished. But could some of the Maya have crossed the Gulf and reached America? Researcher Gary C. Daniels says they did. This is the Crystal River site, and I believe this is the first Mayan site that was built not only in Florida, but in the entire southeastern U.S. What year are we talking about? When did We're they talking come? about 0 to 250 A.D. is when it was growing, and then there was a burst at 250 A.D. Wait, so that's 700 years before the Mayan Empire collapsed. Right. I believe it was traders because they were already establishing trade sites here to bring back resources to these growing cities. When they collapsed, they knew this place existed so they could come here to get away from it. We know the Maya could have reached Florida by canoe in four days. So common sense says that some could have ventured across the Gulf, but common thought is that they didn't. So where's the disconnect? If we find hard evidence, it could change our understanding of Mayan history. This site is the earliest site outside of Mexico where you have these flat top pyramids. So the architecture is the first piece of evidence that this is a Mayan site. Not only is the architecture similar, but the site planning, how they laid this site out. This mound has an alignment with a standing stone across the plaza and it aligns with the sunrise on the summer solstice. Oh, okay. So they were using the architecture and the site planning of the Maya. Native Americans aren't known to have aligned structures with celestial bodies. The Maya did it frequently. El Caracol in Chichen Itza has windows positioned for tracking Venus as it moves across the sky, while two of the corners align with the sun at the summer and winter solstices. This is the burial mound, and this is where pottery was found that had Mayan glyphs on it. Huh. There's one um, particular type that the Maya were the only people who made that type of pottery. They only made it between the years 0 AD and 250 AD, and you only find it in the Maya world in burials. Well, we have that pottery here. Found, found here. right here. That's amazing. That's some pretty compelling evidence. We have a Mayan artifact found in Florida at a burial site that perfectly matches the design of known Mayan sites. To me, that says some Maya did migrate to America. But where did they go? This is where it begins, but it doesn't end here. It spreads up the riverways all around the Gulf Coast into Georgia, at the Okmulgee site in Macon, Georgia. Not only do you have these flat top pyramids like you have here, but you also find in the burial mound a person who features cranial deformation, which is a process when the child is a baby, they bind the child to a board and it forces the child's head to grow in an elongated shape. Hmm, interesting. That was a common feature in Mexico, and then you find it at the site in Okmulgee. So the bottom line is, they don't disappear. They're already planted elsewhere. They've already migrated into this part of the continent. Right. It's the beautiful story of America. Migrations made this place happen, including, it seems, according to your theory, the Mayan migration. It's the most logical conclusion. 